Okay, last, uh, uh, well, earlier we uh, went ahead and uh, drew our material in from the primary vessel into the processor. And now what we need to do is uh, we're going to circulate the product in the processor. We're going to get it nicely mixed up really well. And then I'm going to take a sample out of here. Uh, and then we can titrate that sample. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start the, uh, the cycling process. <clears throat> I'm going to open the valve at the bottom of the tank making sure that all my other valves are closed. Make sure that my valves are situated so it's going to push it into the top of the, of the tank here and okay so now the product's being mixed uh, coming out of the bottom of the tank going into the intake of the pump and the outlet of the pump is bringing it back into here and we're, we're mixing it up thoroughly. Um, you want to make sure that that's mixed up really well so in case it, you know, if, if it's settled for a while or something, you want all this oil to be homogenous, all the same. So when you take a sample and you measure it, you're going to, no matter where in that sample you take, it's going to be a, a correct measurement. The whole, the whole product's going to be the same. So I'm going to get a container here. And, uh, this system is set up to where I can drain out of the bottom. I'm going to open the valve at the bottom. I'm going to turn the pump off. It'll allow it to run out. And then I'm, if I turn the pump back on, that flow will cease. All right, I went ahead and got a sample. I probably got about a quart in here. You probably can't see it, but I don't know if I can bring that in. Yeah. I got about a quart in there. Uh, if there was anything in the line, I made sure and I got that through. And then I got some new material in there. So. Uh, this should be a representative of our entire sample. So we have our sample of oil that we pulled from our processor and we need to measure this to determine how much Y to add to our methanol when we're, uh, when we're doping the oil with the methoxide solution. So in order to do that, what we're going to do, this is a process called titration. This is the process that I use. Um, you need isopropyl alcohol. And I have found that Napa's Thermo-Aid is 99.9% uh, .9 isopropyl. Uh, you know, I've, I believe that I found these in bulk for under $2 or about $2.5 or so. So it's really an expensive way of getting the isopropyl that you need for the, for the titration. Um, <clears throat> the first thing I like to do is go ahead and uh, my vessel, I'm going to wash this out, just kind of wash out any uh, you know contamination that's gotten in there. I'll put this in the approved disposal container over here. And so we'll start out with 10 milliliters of isopropyl in our container. And I've got a graduated cylinder here. Uh, everything that I've got, I believe you can see this in the video. And I, I found this toolbox somewhere and it's, it's been really handy. Everything that I need fits in here. And when I need to do a titration, I just grab it, and it seems to be pretty handy. You'll find some kind of container that'll work for you. But we'll go ahead and put the 10 milliliters in. Okay. Next, uh, we're going to put an indicator solution in. I use uh, turmeric and isopropyl alcohol and it'll make a, a yellow solution. Uh, turmeric will change colors at about 8.5 pH which is about what uh, which is about the uh, pH that phenolphthalein is the other indicator a lot of people use for titrations will change at. I guess I found that turmeric was cheaper and more easily available than phenolphthalein so uh, realistically, all you do is you put about a teaspoon of, of turmeric uh, in a container about this size, fill it up with isopropyl alcohol, and then you've got enough indicator solution for hundreds or thousands of titrations. Uh, got a dedicated little eyedropper for this. Going to add just a few drops. I usually add five drops in here. As you can see, this is a, a yellow color. 
Okay, so yellow would indicate an acidic solution. So right now what I want to do is I want to add to it my titrating solution, which I've prepared. Um, my titrating solution is a solution of 0.1% lye in water. So what you'll do is you'll take a liter of water and to it you can add one gram of, um, of lye. Um, it's a very mild basic solution so when you add it to you can see it change colors from acidic to the basic which is pink. And the reason that I do this I want to bring this solution to the brink of the color change. So I am just going to add a drop at a time and as I do this I'm changing it from acidic too basic and it shouldn't take more than just a couple drops. There it goes. And so when it changes from the yellow to the pink or whatever, I'm just going to make sure that that's a complete change right here and that's a nice uh, deep red color of pink. The, uh, the titrating solution they say it's only good for about three months and so being that it's only uh, distilled water and lye, just a little bit of lye. There's really no reason not to make a new batch every three months or so. So, Anyway, so now we've got our prepared uh, solution ready to accept the oil. And so I have these, uh, they call them oral syringes. This is for like giving babies medicine or whatever. I got this at the, at the drugstore. They gave them to me. Uh, I asked for them. They have a lot of them. I'm sure you can find something like this really easily and it's really good for me because I need one milliliter of product and this is a one milliliter oral syringe so I am going to take my oil sample here and I'm going to dip this down about halfway in again this is what I do I'm not promising that this is the absolute correct way but I have found success with this here we go all right so I take my oil drop it in my solution and this is going to change this solution into an acidic uh, solution so as I swirl this it will change it right back to yellow okay there's the color change and swirl this around a little bit and let the oil dissolve in the isopropyl um, isopropyl is the alcohol that will dissolve oil methanol will not dissolve the oil we'll show that when we do a completion test so I'm going to swirl this around and make sure that it's all the oil is dissolved inside of here. And we are going to add more of the titration solution, which is basic, to our acidic solution that we have here. And we're going to see how many milliliters of product it takes to turn this back to that pink color we had at the 8.5. Um, then we'll reference that number and mix our methoxide accordingly. So this this will this pipette will suck up about two milli two milliliters at a time. Um, I normally add, you know, they say okay, drop one drop at a time and swirl it. Well, I don't do that because I think that it's uh, a little unnecessary when you're talking about grams per liter. Um, I'm just going to put about a half of a milliliter in at a time, counting from where the top of the mark was. So that's a half of a milliliter. Okay, so it's still yellow. I'm going to continue to add. And I can see it trying to change color. And there you see it does change color. So. I would safely say that if I added the remainder of that one milliliter, I would have had the color change. So I'm going to call this uh, the titration number of this oil sample a one. And what that means is, is I need one additional gram of lye per liter of oil. And I have over here a chart. Still rolling? Yep. 
my chart that uh, I put onto my cabinet here, and this is actually all um, factored out to my batch size, 25 gallon batch. So what I'm doing here is this is my titration number. So if I have a half, if it would have took only a half a milliliter, uh, my whole entire 25 gallon batch would need 520.5 grams of lye. Um, over a pound. I believe there's 454 grams in a pound or something like that. Um, so one, one is our number. So instead of calculating this every time, I just made this chart and, you know, I, I would say that if you had a specific processor with a specific number of, of gallons or liters of product, a chart like this would be awesomely handy like it is for me. So we're going to uh, to our methanol, which our methanol is going to be 20% of the total amount of uh, oil in the processor. So being that I got 25 gallons of oil in the processor, or 24, I am going to use, you know, approximately 5 gallons of methanol. So we're going to go get some methanol, and to that methanol we're going to add 567.8, give or take, uh, grams of life. 